On the flip side, though, Mike Sullivan, right? We obviously know he took over as the game day play caller for us down the stretch after Matt Canada got uh, fired. He's scheduled to interview with the Raiders coming up. So That makes sense. I like it for him. The Giants connection with Pierce. Yeah, I like it for him, though, man. Because um, I thought he came in and we say he did a good job down the stretch. But obviously we know that Coach T said neither one, uh, Mike Sullivan or Eddie Faulkner, would get the offense coordinator job. It does kind of, I don't know. I did kind of want him still, though. Right. Yeah. I mean, if they like, if they would have known they had did, no bro. chance of yeah. being back with the organization after <laughs> getting bumped up, man. <laughs> Maybe they wouldn't have done all that. It's kind of cold, bro. I'm yeah. like, it's like, hey, you guys can do I want this you to do more as well. thing, yeah. but after you're done, like, hit, there's there's no you, chance you stick. You around. know what they hit it with? They hit it with the, hey, look, man, I ain't gonna pay you for this, but if you want to just go out here and show what you could do, I'll get some tape out there. I'm sure go get some tape. All right, that's what that felt like right there. Like, yo, this is your preseason rep. This is your game tape right here. I'm not making you full time to whatever. No, I you guess do. there was a chance though if we went on a run, won a Super Bowl with them. One sure. of them would have been back, I guess, right? You would hope. <laughs> yeah. There but was probably a five percent chance, ten percent chance. I'm just like, that- bro, the the way that turnaround felt, but then it I also questioned myself is did we overreact to the success? Like because it was so stale at one point, we just kind of looked at it and was like, Oh, this feels so great. Like it is what it is. Or do we? Or well, we weren't having that success with Mitch. Right. We had some of it with Kenny right. early on. Mitch, everything, everything just went down the tubes with Mitch. Yeah. And then Mason came in and he was balling out. The offense was balling out. So yeah, I I don't know what to make of it. There's a reason we're moving on from Sullivan and Faulkner. I don't I don't yeah. think we got enough of a like definitive. This is what you guys did. This is how you guys like really improved yeah. the offense. Because you can make the argument it was just the QB change yeah, that changed the offense, at least with Mason. Now, we got to see the direct Canada fired, Kenny Bengals game. That mm-hmm. was an improvement. I think you could definitely credit right. some of that to, to them, Sullivan yeah. and Faulkner. Yeah. But after that, it, it was just a, a mess of moving pieces, right? Yeah. So they handled adversity well. I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, I think, I think one of the things they did do is – Set things up as best as they could for yeah. the quarterback. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah. I think they did that. Because yeah. you could see there was there was a difference in what was going on from Kenny versus the Browns with Canada mm-hmm. and then Kenny versus the Bengals with these yeah. two guys. We would agree. You've brought Definitely. up certain things. Mm-hmm. He just he looked more confident. He was yeah. looking at different parts of the field. Mm-hmm. If we were hitting the middle. And then Arizona game, I thought the offense wasn't bad in that yeah. one, but unfortunately Kenny got hurt. And then with Mitch, I just think Mitch played bad. I'll yeah. be honest with you. No, that's what it was. We would agree. And then he was. And then he took Mason, too many bad, too many bad play or too many bad chances and too many just inconsistent things showing up in his game. That's what we switched to Mason. Yeah, Mason just shocked everybody. And maybe with Faulkner Sullivan, I don't know. I just think Mason played that good. I don't know how much yeah. we want to contribute it to these OCs or anything. I, I give yeah. them some credit, but set up Mason with some deep shots. I don't, I don't know what exactly they did. Mm-hmm. I just think Mason just, he played good. Yeah. And I guess the OCs set him up with some of that, obviously. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got to call the calls, but ultimately, as we said, even when it was Kenny Pickett out there, it's less about the coach. It's always going to be more about the player. He put him in a position, but Mason started to go out there and execute the throws. I'll put it to you this way. I think uh, those two guys put Mason in a better position than Canada would have. Respect, yeah. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, fair enough. But I think we've gone over this how many times. I think Mason played better than Kenny this year, just flat out. Yeah. And both things could be true. And it doesn't have to mean that one's a terrible player either. Because no. I know that was the follow-up. You know it was going to come with that. I got you back. No, you, you know trip. where I stand. Yeah. Uh, I'm good with the Kenny-Mason competition. I, I still yeah. believe in Kenny. I think Kenny can be the guy. He's just He's going to have to... When his job or compete for the job. Hey, it's going to be a fun time, though. That's all. It's going to be a fun time. Ain't this what you want? Do what you want. So, yeah, man. Like I said, but definitely like where we at right now with this OC conversation and the direction of it, though, as a whole, man. 